Hey guys, welcome back to class. How are you guys this weekend? Good. Um, good. All right. I hope your week continues to go that well. And hopefully with what we're going to learn today, that also helps you have a good book report. All right. So with your book report, you're going to have different parts of it. So um, first off, we'll have creating a, like a thesis statement. So that'll help you have your main idea and then also establish like your theme for the book report. And then identifying parts of the paragraph so that it help you build up your different paragraphs that you'll have uh, and just your different claims. And then supporting your claim. So, yeah, you can support your paragraph by like citing evidence, citing examples from the different books that you're going to read. And then summarizing informational text. So I have literary, literary analyses for you guys on um, online. And then so you use that to also like from an expert and that I help you also supplement your uh, your reports. Okay. So we'll just jump right into creating a thesis statement. Um, so a thesis statement, you want it to be short, concise, but you also want to get your point across. It's also going to be like the main part of your paper. So that's like that one, one of the things that I'm going to grade you more heavily on. Okay. So I kind of made a sample one just to help you all out. I did mine on the Hunger Games. Um, uh, so the moral of the Hunger Games series is that love always wins. And so as you can see with like the moral of, I'm establishing what like the point of the, the, the paper is gonna be. And then with that love always wins, it establishes like what your argument's gonna be. So like, yeah, so yeah. Okay. And then, so from there, it provides a pretty smooth transition into like, how to write your rest of your paragraphs. So we'll start with your topic sentence. And with your topic sentence, you'll want it to be about what you're going to write in that paragraph, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So say you're gonna do like a different, a certain excerpt from Catching Fire, you'll want to establish like that's what you're gonna talk about and then lead into that with your supporting sentences. And then how this connects back to the thesis. And so with your supporting sentences, you can cite um, information, which kind of ties along with supporting your claim, is you'll want to cite information from the text. Uh, so you can cite, say, for an example, in Catching Fire, where Peter says he's going to volunteer himself for Katniss, if she's the one who gets selected. Uh, that, again, it ties in with the, right, your thesis statement, that love always wins. And so it has the, that central theme and it connects, and that's what you want in your supporting claims. And then with your conclusion, you want it to summarize what you argued in the paragraph, but you also want it to connect to the rest of your paper, and you also want to transition, so it's a smooth uh, transition into the next paragraph. Okay. And then, so with summarizing informational text, so like that ties back to what the analyses that I was talking about. So we'll have, yeah, there's a literary analyses online, and then depending on what your book is, you'll use different and what your argument's going to be. Um, there's different sources that you can use. And so from that, you'll want to know what the author's background is, what their argument is, so like a summary of the text. And then you can also use um, the information that you find from this. You can cite it into this. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, when you cite um, examples from the book, you want to use page numbers so I know where you're getting the information from, like quote from, and you're not like making it up. I mean, I know you guys want to do that, but like, you know, it's just a good, yeah, it's just to let me know where you're getting it from. And then with this, you're going to want to cite the page number as well, and then also include the author's last name. Uh, and make sure you put those in parentheses uh, throughout the book. All right. And then, so for a thesis statement, we'll uh, make a little chant for you guys, and we'll just uh, we'll do this real quick, and then, yeah. All right, so with the thesis chant, we have T is for topic, H is for having an argument, E is for expressing main ideas, S is for specific statements, I is for indicating further discussion, and then S is for showing your conclusion. So it's like a cute little theme uh, that you know spells out the word thesis, but also provides good points. Okay, so we can do it together now. Um, so I'll do it first, like a little chant, and then you guys can follow up. Okay, all right, so all right, let's do it all together. Mm -hmm. uh, so T is for topic, topic H, H is for, for having an argument, E is for expressing main ideas, S is for specific statements, I is for indicating for further discussion, and then S is to show your conclusion. conclusion. All right, and that'll be it for today. Thank you, guys.